brought you eight head this morning. Okay. Uh, need to preg check them, and I know three you've got to have some footwork done. Okay. So. There's definitely a shortage of food animal veterinarians. What we've seen now is we've got these, even here in Arkansas, we have counties that are underserved for the amount of cattle that they are and the veterinarians that are, have the ability to serve them, they're just, they're not there. So what we're seeing is veterinarians are just having to travel farther and farther, you know, to service all their clients, which we've taken the opposite approach here. We want them to come to us. I can get to a lot more clients in a day's time if they haul them to us. So, you know, I think that's part of the, I think the industry is gonna have to get a different mentality. Cattlemen are gonna have to think more about hopping something on a trailer and getting to a veterinarian instead of having a veterinarian come out. This is a facility that, first of all, is not gonna let anybody get hurt. And animal welfare really starts with the producer. Uh, producers can't really take care of their animals if they can't be there because they've been run over or stepped on. So this gives a producer the ability to uh, bring an animal down here. Uh, if you need its weight, if you need its foot worked on, if you need it preg checked, if you need whatever you need. And whatever that cow's disposition, and we know there are different dispositions on cattle, this facility can handle that. So uh, it, it, it's just first class and, and uh, his commitment is, is way beyond what I ever expected. When we looked at the design of this building, the first thing we wanted to keep in mind was safety for people handling the livestock. Anytime, of course, you're around livestock, you know, things can happen. Some animals can be pretty testy, so we don't want to get anybody hurt. The other thing is we don't want to get any animals hurt. We want to, we want to have a design for their safety, too. So when we, all these pens are fairly small where we can move cattle. They don't have a lot of room to get away from us. All the gates latch at least two places where we never have to be inside a pen with cattle. We can always be on their side of the gate moving them, and we can move them wherever we want to. Uh, we have two hydraulic chutes, and we have two hydraulic turret gates and alleyways, which means we can, we can use remote control to push cattle around, and we don't have to be back there around them, which makes them less flighty, uh, makes them move easier. Uh, you know, the we let the machine move the cattle instead of people back there with flags and yelling and hot shots and whatnot. We that's not what we want. The, and the cattle do better. It's less stressful for them. So we got pen space. We're out of the weather in the wintertime. Of course, in the summertime, like today, we got all the doors open. And we just let the breeze, you know, and fans in here. In the wintertime, we can shut all these doors. I've got two heaters. And so on those cold, rainy days when you couldn't work outside, we're running. We're working, and so it, it extends our days we can work in a year's time, too. I think producers are coming to the realization these animals don't mean to, but they can hurt you. So I believe a lot of smaller producers have said, you know what, I've got enough facility to catch my cattle, and I can put them in a trailer. I'm not going to invest in a head gate and, and, and all that kind of stuff because I have a professional that I can unload them He'll call me when they're done. I take them back home. I think that's a positive thing uh, because, again, I, I think it goes back to the producer. We won't have a cattle industry if we don't have cattle producers. If, if they're not able to handle their cattle and there's a facility that can, utilize that. We're all gonna have to kind of team up and know that, you know, we know, you're, we know our umbrella is getting bigger. We're just going to do things a little better, a little bit more efficient. We serve this county and all the surrounding counties, and then vaguely all the next ring of counties around that. So we're serving seven counties all daily, and another five to eight of them. You know, I've got clients that are coming in from over 100 miles away. 